What's up, Average Dad fans? Welcome back to another video. And today, it's this. The Pixel 9 Pro Fold. Yes, the latest foldable phone from Pixel. And I am excited because I've been using the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL and it might just be my favorite Android, all round Android candy bar phone. So can this fold become my favorite all round foldable phone? Well, today I'm going to give you my first impressions, show you the unboxing very quickly, briefly, there's not much to see, and then talk about where the Pixel Fold 2, that's what I'm gonna call it for this video, how it compares to the Pixel Fold 1. The good points, the bad points, based on my first impressions. Let's go. So, as mentioned, I'm going to keep the unboxing part of this video very, very brief. You get a cardboard box, a USB-C to Type-C cable, uh, a SIM ejection tool with some manuals, and the phone. That's it. No gimmicks, no charging brick, no case, nothing else. That's what £1,749 gets you these days. However, we do need to open and look at this device. And as you can see here, it looks stunning. I can already tell from the weight of this device, the premium materials used, this is going to be a sturdy piece of kit. The 6.3 inch outer aspect ratio might just be perfect. If it's not, then it's the Honor Magic V3's 6.4 inch. And that 8 inch inner screen, again, might just be perfect. And while talking about the inner screen, obviously this is the first time I'm seeing it, just like you, the crease, or should I say lack of crease, when we consider the original Pixel Fold, how far ahead the Pixel Fold 2 has come. Yeah, very impressed. So here it is out the box. As I say, there wasn't much to see. I've gone for the porcelain color. I went for the porcelain color in my XL as well. I went for the porcelain color in my XL as well. I just, yeah, I, I love that colorway with the silver hinge and the silver frame. It just looks good. But like the Pixel Pro XL, this is jaw-droppingly stunning. And to feel it in the hand, I mentioned in my global first impressions, my V3 global first impressions yesterday, that a 9.2 millimeter device no longer feels flimsy or like it's going to break. Well, this 10 millimeter, 10.5 millimeter device folded, absolutely feels as solid as any candy bar phone. There's one thing that I have noticed even my XL. When you've got shortcuts set up in the home screen, they're quite sensitive and I've just managed to turn it on using my palm, not even a finger. That's one small annoyance. This is definitely, not this, but the Pixel Pro XL is definitely the most times I've ever accidentally turned on a torch in my pocket. Anyway, sticking with the fold. First impressions. Porcelain colour, silver frame, aluminium, glass in the front, Gorilla Glass Victus 2, Gorilla Glass Victus 2 in the back, and it's a square camera bump. So, differences between this year's Pixel Fold 2, or Pixel 9 Pro Fold, and the Pixel Fold original. The inner screen. It's completely different from aspect ratio, to crease or lack of crease, to bezels. It is completely new revamped it looks and feels like a proper chinese premium foldable device and then sticking with aspect ratio and screens the outer screen a 6.3 inch diagonal no longer squished passport style which i and a lot of people loved this is now directly like the oneplus open and i have to say I actually think it's slightly wider now. I need to get calipers out. Someday in the comments will tell me. But this feels like a larger outer screen than I was getting from the OnePlus Open. I no longer have the Apex Edition. That was sold. That was silly. I should have kept it. But yeah, that's on me. Now, other differences. Not the camera, sadly. They're a 
basically the same cameras inside. And software-wise, it is new, but the new software, Android 15, will eventually come to the Pixel Fold. Android 15 will come to this in October, I believe, with the original Pixel Fold and other Pixel devices to get soon thereafter. Gemini, another feature that will come to all devices if it's not already. So software-wise, there's really not much to talk about. But hardware internals, the battery is bigger, the charging is faster, the Tensor G4 chip is far more efficient and more powerful. So you are getting a really, really big upgrade compared to the Pixel Fold of last year, in my opinion. And of course, this phone, let's see live, yeah, this phone actually is a foldable that opens fully, not just to like 177 degrees or whatever the original Pixel did. Now, of course, another advantage and first impressions of the setup process, it's a Pixel device. It's absolutely seamless. This wirelessly transferred all my data, all my apps, everything from the Pixel 9 Pro XL within minutes. In fact, maybe three minutes to do it all. It's still doing it all in the background, I'm sure. But what it does, yeah, so it's still downloading some apps. But everything just syncs seamlessly. All your passwords, all your contacts, your calendars, everything is just here on deck. And I love that. And of course, it goes without saying, Android Auto, Smartwatch Connectivity, Google Gemini Advanced included. I think it's free for 12 months and then you have to start paying for it. But the basic Gemini is more than good enough, trust me. Um, yeah, so if you haven't guessed already, my first impressions are good. I need to and will be doing extensive testing. And what you really want to see is this versus this. Two of the best foldable phones without doubt. And because I've got them here, in fact, let me go into my little box of treats. We've got the Vivo X Fold 3 Pro, still sealed, terabyte version. I may as well compare it to that. Sorry, I may as well compare it to that. And then we've got the Xiaomi Mix Fold 4, Fiber Edition. I may as well compare it to that too. So yes, I'll be doing lots of comparison videos, lots of camera tests, because that's what you all want to see and that's what I like doing. So if you haven't already, help me get to 100k, a million subscribers or just 30k at the moment. Smash subscribe if you want to see more content on foldable phones. And if you haven't already, you can check out the Average Dad Tech Store, link in description. I don't stock this, but I do stock this. Until next time.